So the story of the Denisovan starts with this little pinky bone that you see here. So this little pinky bone was found in the Denisova cave in Siberia, and it belonged to a girl who died there 70,000 years ago. So it was clearly not Homo sapiens, and it was assumed to be a Neanderthal, and it was sent to Svante Pabo for sequencing, and indeed it yielded high-quality DNA, but the results shook the world because it was not an, a, a Homo sapiens, but it was also not a Neanderthal. This was the first time in the history of science that a new human lineage was discovered solely based on DNA. So this is how we found out about the man from Denisova. And this set off a race to find true Denisovan remains in the fossil record. However, this challenge proved harder than you would initially expect. And when we came to think about all this, the entire fossil record of the Denisovan man is more or less what you see here. We had this pinky bone, a couple of teeth, and a bunch of unidentified small fragments of bones all coming from the same cave in Denisova. So what we did is that we used our methods in order to identify genes whose activity pattern is different in Denisovans. And then we used medical genetics to understand the effect of these changes in gene activity on different body parts. And we were able to offer the first anatomical profile of the Denisovan. And what we did is we uh, teamed up with Mayana L, a scientific illustrator, and um, she did this artist's impression based on very accurate anatomical uh, details. Uh, so this is a, a reconstruction of how this girl from the Denisova cave uh, may have looked look like according to our anatomical reconstructions.